Hey everyone, it's Emma, and today we're going to be building Mochi a cat tree. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I made myself a standing desk a few months ago, and upon doing that, I realized I was gonna make Mochi a cat tree. This is going to be like 90% upcycled. We have 48 cans that we're upcycling, fluffy fabric, some twine, some t-shirts that we're gonna be using, this ladder we found on the side of the road. The wood that we're using, though it's we technically bought it new, we haven't used it in about a year and a half. We're still putting it to good use. We had no other purpose for it, so I still count it as being upcycled. And then the tools that we're using, we're borrowing from a friend. So this is a very low waste, cheap DIY. So this is all we had to buy new. I just wanna take you guys along with us as we make this. I'm really excited. We spent all morning <laughs> planning it out, the dimensions and everything, so we don't mess up. But even if we do, we're gonna have some extra wood, just in case. Let's just get to it. Can you go give me the big long ruler? Am I gonna die? No. First step clearly is cutting the wood. We've got all of our tools, our hillbilly set up, because we don't have saw horses or anything. And I leave all that up to Dan, because I had a weird accident with woodworking one time. I have all my appendages, so no worries there. And I've got my earbuds for my hearing protection and my glasses. This is so safe, and we're doing this on our balcony. run into a predicament already. <laughs> Someone didn't look at the final numbers. We had too many <laughs> copies of our blueprints. Yeah, we didn't label the final blueprint, so we cut wrong. And now we're trying to figure out how we can correct ourselves. <laughs> Here's what we have so far. Oh, there they are back there. Well, we need a 12 by 15. But we still need a 12 by 15, a 15 by 15, and two 12 by 12s. And a 13 no. by 12, yes. Yeah, two 12 by 12s, a 13 by 12. Write this down. That is not straight at all. <laughs> you can see how curved that is. Yeah. Okay, so we're done cutting. That went really well, I was very scared. <laughs> but that was like the, the quick part, I guess. Now it's gonna be the tedious part of gluing together 48 cans with the pieces of wood and making sure that they all fit. They're not glued yet, but here's a sneak peek. Oh.
So this didn't go quite as smoothly as we thought. The cans don't stay together very well until the glue hardens a little bit. So we're gonna leave these water jugs as weights on here for now and let them harden a little bit and come back in maybe 20 to 30 minutes. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> You're just funny. In the meantime, we're going to assemble the cube so then we can just place it on top of this when it dries. We're doing good so far. We only have to recut one piece because it's slightly crooked. So we're doing that now. And then basically just waiting for glue to dry. Pretty simple today. The rest of the week is gonna be kind of complicated because I have to figure out fabric. I have to figure out how to work a staple gun and I have to wrap all of those cans in some sort of rope or twine. Okay, we thought of something else. I'm gonna go spray paint because it's silly to assemble the whole thing and then paint it. But I figured because some of the pieces are like wood, some of them are painted white already. So I'm just gonna go downstairs and spray most of it black, whatever can't be black, I'm gonna make silver. Everything we just painted did not need to be painted. Two of them are gonna get covered in fabric and one of them is the cover for our trash can for the cap. So he just went to go grab the box that we just made and I'm gonna paint that. And then once those other pieces upstairs are dry, we're gonna paint that. And then that's what needs to be painted. This is a mess. We are so put together. Hi, my boy. Are you enjoying this? Hey. You enjoying this? So we gave up on the Gorilla Glue with the cans because they weren't doing very well with the metal, taking forever to dry. So I just hot glued a bunch of them together, which took me like five minutes. So I wish we would have thought of that earlier. Now that I've done this, it's just assemble the entire thing. We're literally just gonna hot glue this tower together because the Gorilla Glue is not working very well on the metal. Honey, just, just pick up the base. Oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> we can, we'll Gorilla Glue her Yes, because that's wood on wood. Yeah. This isn't gonna work. Why? Hot glue dries way too fast. Mm, sure. We could do an initial coat of Gorilla, of gorilla Glue. One down, five more to go that are not attached. Nine more to go total. The rest of tonight I'm going to spend wrapping the rest of these at least as much as I can before we do the final glue down tonight. Let it sit overnight with some weights on it and then I will check back in tomorrow to let you know how sturdy it is, if it's done being dry, and then tomorrow will be fabric as well and then hopefully be done by tomorrow. So here we have it. It is completely glued together, completely assembled. I just have to wrap all four of those down there and finish wrapping, where is it, that one? I just went and bought more supplies. I didn't know how much of this I'd need, so I just bought three of them. And then if I have extra, I, I use this stuff all the time for different projects, so no worries there. And then I got more glue sticks because I needed more. It really should be pretty simple. Just, just kind of time consuming. Since they're already glued down, it's gonna be difficult to wrap. So I'm putting it on here for two reasons. One, it makes a great scratching post. She already tried them out above and they worked pretty good. And two, um, to disguise the ugliness of the cans because I don't want it to look like it was made out of 
trash. I want it to still look decent. That's why I'm wrapping them. Everything I had before this roll, which is the first roll of the brand new stuff, was used. It was either stuff that I've had for years that I just never had another purpose for, or my neighbor gave me hers that she did, wasn't using anymore. I did this right here because I ran out of this material, plus she probably won't be scratching all the way up here. So I just used some neutral color yarn up there to substitute, and then I did the same thing on the other side. So it's not perfect. You can clearly see that this was homemade, which I love. I love you know, finding unique things, making unique things. It's special to me. I really, really regret not doing this before we glued everything down. This is such a pain. I've been here for half an hour, I think, and I've only done one and like an eighth of a pillar. You can't really tell from up here. I'll show you the final view of the entire thing in a bit, but now, it's time for me to use a staple gun for the first time and also figure out how to wrap these and put cushion on them. It's I'm going to wing it, probably not going to look cute, but here we go. I thrifted this fabric, never used it for anything, so that's going to be the outside. It's not the cutest, but it's soft and she likes it. And then these are old uniform shirts that we have no more use for because these uniforms are out of service. So those are gonna serve as like a cushion and then I'm gonna wrap it in the better fabric. Okay, I'm gonna wing this, I'm really scared. This is actually going quite well. It's, it's certainly not gonna look the cutest. It's definitely gonna look homemade. These pieces right here are gonna be really hard to do without like potentially accidentally stapling my own fingers. So I'm going to stretch them and hot glue them initially and then put some staples right here so it holds. So these are gonna be way too hard to go around. So I think I'm just gonna staple an edge right here and then just do a shorter cushion instead of trying to go through the fillers. Yeah, that got knocked loose. This is not the most structurally sound thing. Theoretically, making it out of cans wasn't a great idea because it's not, it's not sturdy. The good news is mochi only weighs like four pounds. So if you have a fat cat, I would not use this. I'm just gonna really reinforce everything with lots of glue and we're done. This is, this is not going well. And now I'm sad that it's probably not even working. No, I'm gonna make it work. It's quitter chalk. Here's a little life hack with glue sticks. Because you know, they always fall out. Put a little dab of glue and then stick it to your old one. And now you don't have to worry about it falling off every two seconds. You know how I just said it wouldn't fall off? Will it fall off? Here's the shirt that I used in my bunch of farmers review if you want to check it out, it's up there. So I'm throwing that in here as well. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm not strong enough but to not use both hands, but I feel like this is breaking. Oh jeez. No, certainly breaking. She's done. I don't know if that's where we're gonna keep it, but that's where it's going for now. I mean, I do have to vacuum that corner because it's a disaster. She seems to like it. Oh, I am literally exhausted. My back hurts so bad from like leaning over and wrapping those, those stupid pillars. Okay, it, I'm just really nervous. I was scared it's gonna like fall or something. It looks pretty safe. No, Mochi! So very cheap, very low waste. We saved a lot of money, we borrowed tools. We got to use, utilize our skills. It certainly looks homemade, it is not perfect. 
she likes it. I don't think this is gonna survive a move. I think this is gonna just have to live at this house and then we'll have to pass it on to someone else for free because it's not great. <laughs> That's all I have to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was something very unique. Our first big like DIY construction. Let us know if you have any other ideas. If you like this type of video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know how you're spending your quarantine, if you're doing anything ambitious and crazy and making cat trees out of upcycled cans. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, remember that these small changes you make have a big impact in the long run. Bye, guys. Just pretend. In the meantime, is it? Oh, it is recording. <laughs>